uh, this is this is the uh, Asus uh, transformer device that runs Windows 8. It's a very big uh, screen. It works with a keyboard. And I have a multi-touch mouse here as well that I can use. As you can see, the cursor's there. And you can take it like a normal laptop and use. Uh, so right now, I'm just going to show you one mode, which is this. This is the new uh, Windows 8 lock screen. The lock screen here is fully personalizable. Right from the image I have here, that's the Angry Birds Star Wars, which follows me across the PCs that I have. So just say I have three computers one for work and two for, for home. I set this wall, uh, lock screen here. It follows me across the PCs I use. So I go to my work PC, this will change as well. Okay. I also can personalize the alerts I have. So for example, I've got a Skype message here. I've got a Twitter message as well. I also get to see where my battery life is at, uh, what my Wi-Fi connectivity is. And I also get to see uh, my calendar updates as well. Okay. In order to sign in, which is very new for Windows, because it's Windows reimagined, I swipe up. And here, you get to see a new way to sign in, which is really, really cool because Windows is personalized. You really have a personalized experience here. This is the picture password. The picture password allows me to draw a series of gestures or lines to sign in. Right? So I don't have to remember passwords. I generally forget my passwords a lot. So now I have a way that I can remember. So that wasn't my password. So this is my password. I touch my wife here, the car, and then I sign in. Right? So that's two things I've shown you really how Windows has been reimagined. This is the new start screen. This is where I go to see all my applications that I love and care about. Right? And it's very fast and fluid. As you can see, uh, very fast and fluid. Right? I can see all the apps. I just tap on them to, to uh, load them. I can see what people are saying about me on uh, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn because I have the People app here. I have my calendar updates here as well. And you know, maybe if I want to change this machine into something like I want to rush off, I just push this here and pull it out and it becomes a tablet immediately. So I can take this tablet and run on the go automatically. Right? So you see here, I've got a very big tablet. Uh, I can zoom out, look at my applications. I can go into my mail applications uh, to, to see the emails that I have. So I've got all the emails here. Right? My friend sent me an email to go for drinks. If I want to go back, I swipe over here and press the start button. Right? So I'll show you that again. I go over here, swipe. This is the charms bar. The charms bar works across Windows 8 and allows me to access search, share, the start button across and settings across uh, the whole operating system. So I tap that, I go back to this home screen. Right? Next thing I want to cover is uh, the people tile, which you can see updates are going through here. I tap on this and I'm just going to tap on home and immediately you see all my friends here in one place. I've connected all my accounts. I've connected my Microsoft account, my Facebook, my LinkedIn, all Twitter, everything in one place. So these are, I would say literally everyone I know is here. Right? And I can get a zoomed out view like this and tap on social, see my favorites as well uh, because we have too many friends. I think this is over 1,200 friends. Uh, I can go and see what my individual friends are doing. So, uh, for example, I can go and click on my friend Chong. I can see he's in Korea. Right? I've got him all connected here. Right? I can go back maybe and I can tap on my wife and go here. And because we integrate with Skype, Messenger and Facebook, I can send her an SMS directly from here or I can call her on Skype as well. Right? So it's really having access to all your friends in one place and having the ability to contact them all in one place as well. So I can do a video call, I can do a Skype call, uh, send an email, all in one place. Okay? So I can then go and see unread uh, notifications as well. I told everybody I was prepping to demo and people are just giving me best wishes over here. Uh, so I don't need to go to Facebook to see all my information. I can go to the What's New here as well where I see all everything that's going on uh, in my, my social uh, circle. Okay, so go through here, do this, zoomed out view, and I can go back. The other thing I can do uh, that's pretty cool is if I want to look at this stuff and something else, and this is how Windows does multitasking, I just do this and I get a list of applications. Yeah, Ula is right back, so I can do this. So if I do this, this, this comes up. If I do this, the previous application comes up. But if I want to swipe two things at once, just say I want to do a uh, calendar. I do this, mm -hmm. and you notice how calendar changes immediately? Oh. And if I do this, it changes as well, automatically. So you could have a scenario where you're watching a video, and you could be on Messenger chatting with your friends, or you could be on Twitter seeing all the Twitter feeds, all from one place. So I'm just going to swipe that away, go back to the start screen. This is the start screen again. Right? All the applications, I can see alerts here. I got a missed call from my friend Arun, Twitter as well. You know, I got tons of games and stuff to show off here as well.
you know, Singapore applications that I have here, Starhub, Straits Times, uh, uh, ESPN, Razer TV, all, all here for me to see. Okay. So when I'm done playing and you know, doing all my social stuff, I can go to the desktop. And in the desktop, I have full versions of, um, this is my desktop, full versions of Word, Excel, PowerPoint. All here in one place. Right? So I can take it to a new PowerPoint if I want to. Fully touch enabled. And it's very fast and fluid. Right, so I just do a quick demo of how Excel is pretty cool. Right, you can go here, and then you can just say charts, and the totals, tables if I want. Analyze, yeah, this is a nice one. Yeah, automatically you get that. Yeah, and if I want to show uh, Word, for example, I'll show this again. Touch enable. Uh, close the keyboard. Swipe up. If I want to take this and I can move it here, automatically it reorders the words. So that's truly Windows reimagined. This is Windows 8.